world's oceans, rivers, lakes, and seas, considered to be the most unforgiving of environments. From the very first time that humans ventured into these great bodies of water, we have tried to tame them, to understand them, to master them. With the expansion of our knowledge, so too did the technology that we utilized to explore them. Today, the men and women of NEDU continue to make innovative, groundbreaking advances, which will greatly increase the undersea capabilities of U.S. underwater forces well into the future. I'm Lieutenant Commander Steve Duba, Executive Officer at Navy Experimental Diving Unit. We're a field activity of the Naval Sea Systems Command and a direct reporter to the Navy Supervisor of Salvage and Diving. We support various sponsors from the Office of Naval Research to Special Operations Command. Navy Experimental Diving Unit was founded in 1927. We're closing in on 90 years of existence and remain the most historic diving command in the U.S. military. NEDU is pivotal in the early days during the 1930s with the rescue of the USS Squalus, a submarine that sank off the coast of New England in 200 plus feet of water. We are comprised of 130 personnel, and that's both military and civilian. We're made up of Navy divers, explosive ordnance disposal technicians, and special warfare operators. Our civilian workforce is composed of high-level PhD researchers, engineers, technicians, and administrative personnel. We all come together to complete a very special mission. Our mission consists of biomedical research. We also complete unmanned testing and evaluation of all equipment that's fielded by the U.S. military in the diving realm. As I stated earlier, we're the leader in saturation diving for the U.S. Navy and the U.S. military. At our centerpiece, we have the Ocean Simulation Facility which is the largest and most complex hyperbaric facility in the world. And we can test both human subjects and large underwater vehicles. Captain George Bond and his team of aquanauts and researchers were absolutely pivotal in the establishment of NEDU. During the late 1950s through 1969, he served as principal investigator for the Genesis Project and Man in the Sea experiments including Sea Labs 1, 2, and 3, proving that Navy divers were capable of performing cutting-edge work while living at extreme depths for days and even weeks. In honor of the men who performed these dangerous missions, the Ocean Simulation Facility bears his name, certified to a maximum depth of 2,250 feet of seawater at 1,000 psi. Since the OSF's establishment, NEDU has performed countless saturation dives to a maximum of 1,800 feet in 1979. We continue that tradition today. Inside the control room is a starting point for all diving operations that take place in the OSF. As a CSO, you're responsible for compressing and decompressing the entire OSF complex. That includes five individual dry chambers, a wet pot transfer trunk, and the wet pot itself. There are four different touchscreen monitors which control the diver's temperature and humidity ranges for each individual chamber, the diver's hot water system which supplies hot water to the divers in the wet pot, 
the sanitary and potable water systems in Bravo and Delta Chamber, and the gas selection panel, which allows the CSO to press the complex in many different types of configurations. This is to ensure that diver safety is maintained through all any view diving evolutions. Everybody knows the deal with sat diving, right? It's like a petri dish, so just make sure everything's staying clean, decks are getting wiped down. All right, if you guys need anything during the dive, okay, uh, give it your team leader. Uh, we should be talking to Chief Martin the whole time. Aaron, you guys, just, if you guys need anything, let us know. Uh, for guys diving, again, uh, all wet gear stays in Charlie. Just make sure everything's staying clean, decks are getting wiped down. All right, you guys need anything. See you in a few days. NEDU is a critical partner to the diving warfighter. We serve as the DOD's single point of contact for development of technical diving procedures and the research efforts that really push the limits of the human body in extreme undersea environments. Our facilities are second to none in the world and host testing and evaluation operations for each and every piece of diving equipment authorized for use in the U.S. Navy. NEDU's impressive staff of decompression experts have been pivotal in the development of every single U.S. Navy diving table and dive computers in our inventory, both for air and mixed gas. Our experimental diving facility houses three chambers for conducting unmanned equipment tests up to 730 feet in both salt and fresh water in extreme temperature ranges prior to manned testing in the OSF. In our top-notch laboratory settings, NEDU also performs diving equipment accident investigations for the U.S. government, feeding information back to the fleet to ensure all gear is safe for future diving operations. NEDU is a very special place, and we remain a strategic asset in the world of underwater research, development, testing, and evaluation. <laughs>